Hey guys, welcome back to Lunar Silver Star Harmony, where last time we went through the Cave of Trial, and we are basically part of the Magic Guild now. Just for some exploiting ourselves into nearly dying in a cave full of monsters. And this time around, we are in the Magic City of Vane, and we can talk to Master Galleon and Lemia if we wanted to. And we have a bunch of low-textured books here, which might actually tell us more about the city and stuff. Find a room in three days, guaranteed to work while you're suffering from... Okay, next. <laughs> Dinner's Guide to the Magic, volume, okay, this is volume two, but okay, I guess I'll start here. Water Spirit, Magic, okay. Okay. Okay, well, at least that's some learning right there. What about this one? Wild Tribe once tried to conquer the world, was banished to the frontier by the goddess. The Wild Tribe has not been seen since, leading many to conclude that they are died out. I'm reading a newspaper. Okay, next. Wild Tribe was a band of foul creatures, which knew only hate and destruction. Okay, what about this one? Media Magic Spells, Volume 1. Okay, so Volume 2 is all the way over there. Volume 1's over here. Great. Controlling Flame for all those chili... Okay. Here. Volume 4, Hangover Remnies. And okay, I'm not going to get anything out of that. Volume 3. Transform into Barren Wasteland the into Land of Green Earth through the power of magic. That is power to be abused, it can distort the delicate balance of Lunar. Hmm. Oh, once a barren star, but it was transformed into a lush green earth by the magic of the goddess Athena. Okay. Frontier is a sprawling wasteland on the outskirts of the world. No one braver foolish enough than the volunteer has ever returned. Ah, someone hid money in this book. Score! <laughs> okay. The money power slumbers, but it's time to be and remains unbeknownst to us all. Am I gonna learn anything? <laughs> we have to understand why the blue star always shows us the same face. It's a good question. I don't know why either. Probably because it revolves around like a moon. Athena continuously watches over this world from within the goddess tower, and Vane moves in his unaltered course around the goddess tower shield of the farm. No one except the dragon master permitted. Okay, I got that earlier. You gonna tell me something? Okay, uh, is there any more books up here? Can I read this? Nope. Any books up here? Yes, there are. Good. Blue Star is a band orb covered by layers of frigid snow and ice upon which no life exists. Supposedly. The mysterious disappearance and presumed death of the Dragon Master Dine occurred 15 years ago. But the countless theories and endless speculation about what really happened continues unabated. As person seen with Dine, Master Galleon refuses to speak about the Dragon Master. Something is out of respect for his fallen friend. Other believes Galleon has something to hide. I just read another newspaper in a book. Name any drag master, and you can hear a hundred different tales of their incredible adventures. Zeon, the mighty Gale, who fought with his foes with the blinding force of a hurricane. Roka, the iron hand, who could fell the largest man with a single swing of his granite fists. Alicia and Lena, twin sisters who proved that two is better than one. Saza... Sazna Naho. <laughs> Saza Nato, barbaric swordsman who often bursts into song while decimating. He's... Okay. <laughs> Any book that doesn't mention dying right away isn't worth reading, right, Alex? The gods shaped our planet. Not even the enormous power can reach the distant frontier. And so it remains a wasteland even as the world around it blossoms forth with new life. Can I read this one? There we go. Athena's rebirth is said to take place on the highest floor of the goddess tower in the Hall of Rebirth. Cool. This one? The goddess Athena exists as the cornerstone to our world. Dwelling within the goddess tower, she continues to be reborn, maintaining her unmatched beauty. And this one. Volume 2. Okay, that. why is the volume 2 all the way up here? Anyways, that... I didn't learn as much as I would like. Just a little bit more world building. I was hoping for a little more than that. But that's fine. I guess I'll just head inside now because... I learned about the world was once a barren planet. Sort of like how the blue star is right now. Can I... Okay. I had to zoom out. Move it! Get out of the way! I've slipped again. If I'm late to one more class, I'll be held back a year. Alright. Well, that's your problem, not mine. So let's head inside. Hello, Alex. I'm glad you finally made it. What do you think of Vane? Breathtaking, isn't it? Galleon is occupied at the moment, so I'll escort you to the parlor. 
Actually, we'd rather look around the magic guild, wouldn't we, Alex? Actually, yes. Alright then, then suit yourselves. Luna, would you also care to wander the guild halls? Perhaps later. Right now, sitting down and getting off my feet sounds wonderful. Now, I'll just have to give you a private tour of the magic guild sometime, Luna. Alex, come on upstairs whenever you're ready to meet Galen. Otherwise known as get lost in this place, and then you'll meet Galleon. Oh, this place is huge! I hope we don't get lost. This is exactly what this is for! They teach you exactly where everything is in this place. I'll call for you when Galleon is ready. Need anything in the meantime, Luna? Please let me know. Thank you, Nash. I will. song it's Alex Forgive my intrusion. I thought it was Alex. Uh, I mean my friend who was playing that song. Hmm. It's no bother. Um, you, pay, you play beautifully, yeah, I can't talk. Um, you play beautifully, sir, but may I ask you how you came to learn that melody? Gaian composed that melody when he was a boy, before he became the Dragon Master. Dragon Master Dain wrote that? Alex never told me. I am always the last person to know these things. Now, now, I'm certain this Alex probably was just unaware of the piece. No need to get unnecessarily upset, it doesn't become you. You must be the new student here at the guild, and quite a fetching one at that. What? Oh no, I don't have any magical abilities. I traveled here with Alex. He's on the quest to become the Dragon Master. We already met Quark, the White Dragon. And we're here to learn the location of the other three. What about you? Perhaps you're on a quest on your own? You may not realize what you're searching for, at least. Not yet. Oh, no, I'm not. Wait, the dream? Hmm? I keep having the same dream, but it doesn't quite feel like a dream, and it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on with someone I just met. Don't apologize, everyone wants to understand themselves and to know who they are. But not everyone is prepared for what they ultimately discover. Uh, I... Are you prepared for your journey of discovery? I think I need to sit down. I feel weak. Where should we go first, Alex? Which basically means all that happened when we didn't move at all. So we get to explore the place a little bit, and it looks like we have a class here. Okay, moving on. We're basically at a giant school right now. Let's head up these stairs. Okay. Yeah, what do we got in here? I'm surprised they allowed me to go in there. It is an empty room with another passageway right here that leads to a room. Who's there? Feeling ill, so please inform the magic school I will not be present today. Oh, please forgive me. 
I mistook you for one of my mother's messengers. Um, my name is Mia. Mia Alsa. May I ask your name? Oh, I hope I haven't asked you anything. We entered your room. <laughs> this is not weird. <laughs> okay. Just that it's been so long since I met anyone, someone who wasn't in the magic guild. So hopefully you'll forgive my curiosity. I hope you'll forgive our curiosity. We entered your room. I'm no, and this is Alex. Sorry about barging in. Thank you. <laughs> we came here to talk to Galleon. He's going to tell us where to find the dragons. We couldn't talk to us right away, so we decided to explore the guild. And that's when we found you. We're looking for the dragons? How exciting. It is, but we only found the white dragon so far. Hey, why don't you come along with us? I know you have a lot of fun. Adventure? Me? No. I I'm sorry. It's not permitted, I'm afraid. You can't? Ah, well, I had to ask. I mean, what adventurers wouldn't want a beautiful girl by their side? <laughs> Thank you, no. I'm flattered. Wow, you're even cuter with a smile on your face, isn't she, Alex? <laughs> no, stop it. Hey! Hey, hey! What are you doing in here? How dare you enter Mia's room without permission? Who do you think she is? You're not allowed to speak to her, much less violate the sanctity of her bedchamber. How do you know we were in here? <laughs> Mia's the daughter of Lemia, and the future leader of the Magic Guild. Ash, these people aren't. I apologize for this, Mia. Should never let these slovenly hicks run around the guild. I was actually close. <laughs> Unsupervised. Why am I reading these wrong today? I take full responsibility for this invasion of your privacy, and I beg your forgiveness. Ash, will you please? Yeah, you will see you now. Come quickly. Bye, Mia. Take care. Do I have to spell it out for you two? Quickly. Goodbye. That's a, that that dresser on the left was huge. How many drawers were there? But Nash is back in our party, so I can actually take a look at stuff. Why don't I do that? Uh, since I might as well. Good. Thank you. Good. I could probably buy you a new robe though. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, this one? I mean, it's probably obvious I gotta go in the middle, but I don't know. Okay. These are the towers, so not there. Here? Is it upstairs? Where is it in this one? I guess here, because this one looks important. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna leave that middle room for last because I'm pretty sure that's not it. Gallion and all the other games is as often his little section. All right, that works. Hi, Luna. Alex, where have you been? Gallion's been waiting for you for some time now. These two wandered in the places where they most definitely should not have been, Luna. We made friends with a girl named Mia. We'll introduce you to her if you like. Of course not. You know I love meeting new people. Why don't you people focus your attention on the business at hand? I've been granting an audience with Galleon, the great sage of the Magic Guild. Why don't you meet him first? Master Galleon, these are the adventurers I mentioned to you earlier. Alex, Luna, and Nal. Uh, you were the one from before. Welcome to the Magic Guild, young Alex. I am Galleon. Nash has informed me of your trials and adventures, and that your help was crucial to his safe return. You have my gratitude. It has come to my ears that you are in search of the dragons to become a dragon master, if what is said is true. I'm sure luck has must been on your side in order for you to overcome the trial of the White Dragon. Luck had nothing to do with it. Alex passed on his own merit. So it was his merit, was it? Please forgive my misgivings. Surely. 
There seems to be a magical ability emanating from with both you and Luna. Instead of searching for dragons, why not endeavor in the study of magic here in vain? I'm sure you'll find it far more promising for your future. Finding the dragons is our priority. I appreciate your generous offer, but I intend to continue my travels in search of the dragons. You certainly seem to have made up your mind. I applaud your dirt return of the nation. If such is your will, then my thought is to consign this case to your charge, Alex. Have you honestly considered letting them handle such an important case? Yes, of course. I didn't mind that you were accompanying them, Nash. Me? Accompanying them? Absolutely. If that is your wish, Master Galleon, then please leave everything to me. We'll have a room prepared for you, Alex. Please rest here this one night. For on the morrow, I request that this single task be accomplished by your hand. I have high expectations riding on you, Alex. Now, if you'll excuse me. It'd be nice if you told us it today, so we can agree to it or not. But... Game. Wow, Alex. This is Galleon. One of the four heroes who asked us to help him. I didn't think I could sleep. Magic Guild is kind of creepy and thrilling at night. Maybe you should ask Luna to come too. Maybe. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Luna is staying in the school's female dormitory. I can't imagine what kind of confusion that place would be thrown into if you showed up, Alex. I'll go call her along with Mia. What's that sound? Let's go have a look-see, Alex. The sound is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I know it's terribly rude of me to ask the legend of Galleon, but would you mind playing your song again? Not at all. I mean, he was just playing it already, but... <laughs> started playing because I wanted to understand the meaning of songs and music, but even today, I've unfortunately been unable to grasp its essence. I don't think there's anything unfortunate about the way you play. The sound of your playing is incredible. And music isn't something that you use your head for anyway. It's something that comes from within. Luna. Those were the very words of Dine himself. Is that really true? I feel incredibly eager to listen to your musical performance, Luna. Alex. Alex, how long have you been standing there? So this is where you were, Luna. What were you doing here with Galleon? Huh? What was I doing? I couldn't sleep, so I went out for a walk and I heard someone playing music, so... What about the two of you, Alex Nall? What are you doing up so late? You were out for a midnight stroll, right, Alex? Yeah, right. I'm sure your head is running with wild thoughts. Ah, <laughs> wild with thoughts of what tomorrow's adventure will bring. I understand that feeling of being too excited to sleep. We should at least try to rest. Yes, Master Galleon. That everything has been taken care of. I'd love to spend some time listening to your music. I'm really looking forward to hearing the both of you, Alex Luna. Good morning, Alex. It appears as though you didn't sleep well last night. It doesn't come as a surprise. Dine and myself are once much, very much the same. With that aside, the case which I wish to consign to your charge is the following. I received word that there are a dragon and dragon master who reside on the inset near... Wow, I said inset. On the islet near land. I imagine that since you are in search of the dragons, this information will prove of worth to you. Nash, is this Alex in any way he deems necessary? Yes, Master Galleon. Please, get a full account of the details from my steward. I trust you are not disappoint me, Alex. Your steward, this old bum looking guy. <laughs> The guild has heard reports from land of a man claiming to be a, a dragon master. There have also been conflicting reports that the man possesses one of the dragons. Galleon requests that you travel to the land with Nash to see if this man is who he claims to be. Alright, so we're heading off to land then. That sounds like fun. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> but thankfully the game will be like, oh, if you want to get there, just click here. Do I need a... No, I'm good. I actually had full health for once, and I thought I didn't for some reason. Alright, let me buy... Yeah, let me buy one for Nash, because I probably should do that. Am I in the right store? <laughs> I am not in the right store. It's over to the left. Wow, okay. 
this one. Thank you. So what do we got? I need, I know it's the magic robe that I need. So I'll buy one of those. Thank you. And then I will equip it on Nash. Thank you. And then I will sell this, this, that, 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 that. <laughs> there we go. And that should give me a decent amount of money right there. So let's get out of here. All right. And here's how we get out of here really quickly, right? Yep, we just teleport right away. And that leads us back to the spring. No cave of trial necessary. You could just teleport right through and we're done. So let's see, if we want to get to land, we go... Yes, here. <laughs> That's the only option I have. So we all will head here then. So yes, I know I didn't get a lot done this episode. It was mostly world building, cinematics, things like that. But next episode on Azure Plays, Lunar, Silver Star Harmony. I'll head through the NASA Pass, get to land, hopefully within a short amount of time. I don't remember how long the NASA Pass is. And we will see about this Dragon Master who has a dragon. I'll see you guys then.